Pushing 95 Just trying to get to you in time Well you're supposed to be Right here with me Life goes by fast Will it slow down? We got older Where did it go now? Morning guys, my name is Emmy and welcome back to my channel. So as promised, today I'll be filming what I eat in a day and I'll be bringing you guys with me to work, to my workout. So today is actually the one week mark, so seven days after I started my one month project comeback, which if you don't know what it is, you can watch it right here. So long story short, I gained 10 pounds over the holiday period. So in this one month, I'll be eating healthier, training harder so I can get back on track on a healthier lifestyle and just to get fit and ready for my 10 days Sri Lanka beach holiday. Now let's go make breakfast. I love warm water in the morning. I don't drink any coffee or tea. Mm. So this morning I'm having oatmeal as part of my breakfast and this is the brand that I use. It is pretty convenient because they come in packs. And then I'll be adding rice milk. Okay guys, breakfast is ready. This is oatmeal with banana, chia seeds, and a bit of maple syrup on top. This is sweet potato and cherry tomatoes with a bit of salt and pepper. There's a picture for Instagram story. I've been taking photos of every single meal that I've been eating this whole week and I've been sharing on my Instagram story and Instagram. So if you're new to my channel and you're interested to see what I've been eating for the past 7 days, I'll link the post down in my description box below. I love sweet potato with just salt and pepper. It's so simple and so healthy. So I'm not doing any extreme diets with a lot of restrictions. I don't count any calories, I don't count my macros, carbs, protein. So I'm just doing healthy intuitive eating. I'm eating healthier and more responsibly in moderate amount and not go crazy on junk food like how I used to during my holiday period. But I still have one day of cheat meals per week which is Saturday so that I can still enjoy all the yummy and maybe not so healthy food that I love. So like I said before, my goal is to live a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. And I've learned the hard way that extreme restrictions and counting this, counting that just doesn't work for me. It led me to having bulimia eating disorder two years ago. Now that I've recovered, I work out to eat to stay fit and healthy, but at the same time also allow myself to just enjoy food and live my life. Now I'm going to get my lunch. Packing them up to eat at the office later. Almost every single day I bring my own lunch except on some Fridays or like just special occasions then I would go eat out. But it's so much easier to eat healthy when I prep my own meals. I always always bring a water bottle with me wherever I go. It's so important to stay hydrated. Let me put my lunch box into the fridge. Ah. Okay. Always a glass of water to stay hydrated. Two hours later. Alright guys, it's lunch time now and I am going to do my lunch workout. You guys who watch my Instagram story know that I love to do my workout during lunch time. For me it's like a better use of time and normally after work I feel like super tired. I wanna go home, edit videos and watch some TVs. It's nice to also get out of the office a bit and just have a good sweat and it just makes me feel so much better. Oh 
Later. To office to eat lunch. This is my lunch for the day. It's the same as my dinner last night. This is our dinner for tonight. This is green tea soba noodle. These are all the toppings: cucumber, yellow bell pepper, carrots, dried shrimp, seaweed, eggs, chicken, dry fish, more eggs, and this is fish mold with mushroom and more veggies. I'm take a photo for Instagram. The fact that I'm taking photo of my every single meal to share with you guys on Instagram actually really keeps me accountable to stay healthy and not eat any cheat meals during the week. So thank you. A lot of you say that my lunch always looks like it's so little food But don't be fooled by these boxes They're actually pretty deep and once I put them into a bowl You'll see that it's actually quite a lot of food Look, it's quite a lot, isn't it? Oh, I'm so hungry, I cannot wait to eat I will from time to time ask you guys. Hey Emmy, what do you think? No, sorry, well, I think I'm going to come down. 8.01 p.m. Ready? So I just got back from work and now I'm going to upload my video of the week onto YouTube because it's Wednesday and every Wednesday I upload a new video and today is 15 minutes no jumping full body workout So if you haven't done it with me yet, I'll link it right here Published And now I will announce it on Instagram story and Instagram and if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, it's right here one of the corners all right all pulls and now i'll just go shower and then i'll show you what we're having for dinner tonight <laughs> Look at all the yummy food that my dad made for us for dinner. This is vegetable with egg white and he uses the egg yolk for scrambled egg. Pan fried fish. All this food is shared by our family of three. For rice, normally I take a spoonful. So this is my dinner of the night. I use the same plate every single night. So even though when you guys ask me how do I count my food, I never really count my food. But since I use the same plate, so I guess my portions are always relatively similar. So carbs, protein, protein, fiber, protein. That's how we stay healthy. This is
Le siwa, le ho hoi sama de shik pa na hai mai ya jiji. Ni jo mai siwa. One hour later. Last time. Okay guys, I just finished a shower and I'm going to close this video now. I hope you enjoy this what I eat in a day video. So comment down below if you would like to see more of these types of videos. So this is only my seventh day of my one month project comeback. There's still three more weeks to go. So stay tuned and if you want to know what I eat every single day, you can also go to my Instagram where I share what I eat every single meal. Alright guys, I'm gonna go watch some TV and go to sleep. I'll see you next week.